Hello everybody, and welcome to Suffer the Night. This is an indie horror game demo where that guy right there is going to be giving me a special delivery. Uh, let's go see what's involved with that in Suffer the Night. Dozed off. Jeez, the storm is really picking up. Storm is really picking up. Uh, we need to talk about you wearing combat boots in bed. For another time, I guess. Ah, nice posters. All right, that is a huge teddy bear. Okay. Uh, oh, we have a drag sort of open drawer thing. I don't need to use the phone right now. Okay. Mom's word. Boy, it's really dark over here. For an update on the storm. I would if I could find the radio. How about a light? Is this a light? I have found light. So, we, oh man, when's the last time you saw an old-fashioned pencil sharpener? Game on. Here's my computer, and it looks like a journal. Uh, which has favorite author. E-C-H-P-I-E-L. Okay. I'm assuming that's a code. Look at that girl. You rocking. This is an emergency broadcast. This is not a test. The county of Sleepy Woods Mountains has issued a severe lightning storm warning and is suggesting residents stay inside. The National Weather Institute is saying this is a Category 2 storm with sustained winds ranging from 74 to 87 miles per hour and should last all through the evening into tomorrow night. Lighting has struck multiple transformers, causing power outages in some areas. If your power is out or goes out, you might be alive. KW357 will continue to follow the storm as it develops. Check back at the top of every hour for updates. Thank you. Thank you, it sounds pretty bad. You know, I was waiting on someone to pop up out there. Um, I wasn't looking the whole time, so if you guys saw someone, let me know. Uh, what's my objective now? Oh, I have an inventory and a journal, as well as the good old-fashioned menu. All right, well, next out of that. And you want me to leave now? Okay, you want me to leave. There we go. Still really dark. I'm really hungry. Some eggs and toast sound good. And some coffee to wake me up. Audio volume's a little, little bit low, but the storm is kind of loud, so... Uh, uh. Cover art I painted for the Book of the Raven, written by Edgar A. Perry. <laughs> I'm sure there's context in every single one of these. It's really good art. Um, that's actual art, I'm sure, made by somebody. So whoever did it, good job. Uh, is that paints? Yeah. This is a really big house. Just saying. Huh. Interesting design choices, I'll say that. Oh, we have an attic. I don't need to go up in the attic right now. Uh, maybe you'll need to go later. Yeah, game on. Look at that. Those were the days, I'll tell you. Well, depending how old you were uh, at the time, but yeah. Lights on. We're turning on all of the lights possible. I think you would agree that's a pretty good plan, right? Is this a record player? Can I use it? Nice. Okay. Actually, I'm going to turn the game volume up just slightly. Let's go ahead and... 42. How's that? Uh, everything else is fine. Resume. Yeah, it's a little bit better. We have a static TV. Nice little couch there. Boy, you got room to spread out, don't you? Alright, time to make some eggs and toast, I guess. Uh, boom tarts and crispy breakfast cornflakes. All right. 
though. Um, toast. Need to grab some bread from the bread box. Picked up bread. And we're making toast. Uh, do I need to make some coffee? That was quick. Now I need some ground coffee beans. Uh, I forgot. It's rag. I open up all these cupboards here. Coffee, coffee. Which one of you are coffee? Am I missing it? Yeah, maybe another drawer here. Or cabinet. Here's coffee cups. I have a coffee mug. Whoop. Beef stew, baked beans. Is the coffee right in front of my face? Did I, did I miss it here? That's peanut butter. Corn, panay, whole grain, sugar, enchiladas in your cabinet, I guess. Tortillas, maybe? All right, well, time to open up literally everything. See if we can find some damn coffee. Wait, coffee. Coffee beans. Yes. You keep it in a 25-pound bag. Coffee should be ready soon. Uh, now do I need to make some eggs? Is that what you said? I need a frying pan first. I think we can figure that out. Uh, well, there's a plate. Might as well take that for the future. Uh, there's that. Coffee's ready. Uh... A frying pan? Yes, frying pan. Some butter. I assume you're in the fridge, right? Boy, this is a process. <laughs> Making breakfast simulator. You look like butter. Now for the eggs. Uh, eggs. Two eggs. Let's close that so we don't spoil anything. Are you going to tell me when it's done? Uh, egg should be done soon. It's interesting the... I need to put a plate on the cutting board. There we go. Here's that. Uh, toast, I guess. Toast. Toast is used. Wow, you, you made some fancy swirly toast there. And coffee? Coffee? Coffee mug was used. I just shoved that down. I forgot to put some clothes in the wash down in the basement. Uh, basement. Basement. Are you a basement? All right. Here we go. Basement time. Hmm. Nice. Okay, well. Washer is... Like, you have so much room. This this house is huge. Or you're an artist, I guess, uh, based on kind of the paintings I saw. Game room? Lights. All the lights. Every single damn light. My god. Who the hell is my washer in such a creepy corner? Okay. Well, uh, clothes? Washer, need the basket of dirty laundry first. You look like a basket of dirty laundry. Any detergent? Anything like that? No. Objectives updated. Let's go to my objectives, wherever they're at. I don't know where my objectives are. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Hold on. Are there controls? Uh, a gameplay. Inventory, current objective is Q. Alright, maybe I missed that in the beginning. I uh, head back upstairs. I can't sprint, but it's alright. It's a big house anyways. It would have... Whoa. Do you guys see the face in the TV? Oh. That was the front doorbell. I'm here at this hour. And in this storm. Now I can run. Do I have stamina? So far, it doesn't seem that way. That music stop? I didn't tell you to stop. No, it's not stopped. Okay. When did this get here? 
Ooh. To Stacy. This is a really nice envelope. Surprise. Okay, well, break the seal. That looked like a game. Where did this come from? There's no one at the door. Uh, it looked like it was called Suffer the Night, which is the name of the demo. Is there anyone out here? No. I don't know if that's good or bad. Okay, well, I know where a computer is. In this one-bedroom, 4,000-square-foot house. <laughs> All right, uh, can I... Yeah, use the floppy disk. Eldrixen. Why would I have to look over my shoulder? Oh, God. Hate that. Okay. Press enter to continue. Enter password to login hint. My favorite author. Damn. Okay. I don't remember the name. Um, it was... Whoa, 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 whoa. Weird. All right. E-C-H-P-I-E-L. Is there a space between it? E-C-H-P-I-E-L. E C H P I E L E C H No P I E L That doesn't seem to be it. Did I E C H P I E L Right? That's an L at the end, or is that another I? Can you try one one word again? Alright. What am I doing wrong here? That's it, right? Favorite author. Okay. So, I know what that says. Maybe I can find a more legible legible version. On one of these posters, you would think, because I'm a fan, Edge Peel? I don't... Can I open that? No. There's some books there. Uh, Ghost Cat... I can actually... I mean, some of these are kind of cool. Um, doesn't help me find an author, though. My favorite author. How about these books? That uh, looks like the same assets there. Not those, though. I'm trying to look for a clue, because that name, unless I'm totally reading wrong, doesn't seem to work. so confused. Um. Is there anything over here that'll kind of tell me? Oh, it was the neon. I, I thought I saw a face over there. I mean, technically, kind of looks like a face. Dang. 
I am. C H P I E L. There's there's no way it would be in these books, right? I have to think about this for a second. What am I missing here? I I wonder, let's try space between pi and l maybe. Pi l? Aha. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Welcome back, Stacy. Please type one of the following commands. Run drive A, run drive B, and shutdown. So, we put it in drive A, right? The floppy disk? Run drive A. There it is, sent for the night. This is kind of cool. Uh, your nightmare is just beginning. The twisted pendulum of fate now swings. You awaken on a cold, wet stone. The air is moist. A sickly, sweet odor fills your nostrils. It's dark. You can barely make out your surroundings. List of commands, get up. I'm going to look behind my shoulder, because you give me the option. Get up. You slowly rise to your feet. As you do, a sharp sting is felt throughout your skull, and your vision blurs, then refocuses. You're in some kind of a cave or cavern of, of some kind. A bright light off in the distance grabs your attention. List of commands, go forward, search, use item. Uh, search... Nothing was found. So we're going to go forward. Because I don't have an item. A cliff face lies before you. The light you notice is coming from the top. You must climb to reach it. I'm just going to search every single area. Nothing was found. So climb up. You reach the top. An old metal torch hangs from the wall. Its flame flickers and sways as a breeze blows from down the path. An undeniable smell of rot grows stronger. Yet again, we're going to search. Nothing was found. All right, well, go forward. You enter a large open mausoleum. Its chamber is empty, except surrounded by fresh wax candles. A single dimly lit coffin sits at the center of the room. The pungent odor seems to be at its strongest here. To your right, there is a large wooden double door. You know what I'm going to do. Oh, I searched the coffin. I don't know if that was a good idea. You open the coffin lid and are immediately overcome with nausea from the grotesque stench. Inside is the corpse of a man. His face and chest have been eaten down to the bone by maggots. While searching the coffin and body, you notice an old key in one of his hands, disgustedly peeling back each finger from his rigor mortis induced hand. You take the key. A key was added to your inventory. Uh, go right. The torch has a light, large wooden door that blocks your way. You try to open it, but it is locked. Use item. You use the key to open the door. The path leads to the right. So, go right. What was that? Why did my light... Why? Why was that a thing? All right, hold on. Hold on now. Radio is on? Yeah, don't like that. Okay. Back to it. Actually, actually, can I close this? I think I want to close this. No reason. Just, you know, gaming. That's that's why. You turn the corner into another long hallway. Torches light the way along the narrow path. Just as you investigate the surroundings, a gut-wrenching scream echoes off the walls towards you. Okay, go forward. Oh, so the screams, that was what was happening on the radio. Continuing down the path, you come across a small sepul sepulcher. 
sepulcher. My gosh. Housed inside are two small coffins. They have been nailed and fastened shut. Cobwebs and candles litter the surrounding area. A small clay urn sits in the corner next to one of the coffins. Search. You check inside the urn, expecting to find ash, but inside, the light catches a glimmer of something shiny reflecting back. You find an antique lighter. A small inscription has been scratched off, perhaps a family heirloom. You apply pressure to the spark wheel, which strikes the flint and ignites the old wick. It still works. Lighter was added to your inventory. Go right. Use item, because it's dark. Yes. What the hell was that? It sounded like an explosion. And all the power just went out. Oh, goody. Let us go down to the basement and turn on the power. I'm going to assume none of these lights work, right? Yeah, there's no power. Okay, well, this is wonderful. Looks like the transformer blew. Lightning must have struck it. I need to turn on the backup generator in the basement and reset the fuse box. Well, it's really dark in here, but I think we can manage. Is there anyone out here? No. No, I don't see anyone out there. But that window is prime real estate for someone to just be standing there. Side door. Yeah, you have a massive house. Okay, down in the basement. Over here, I think, is the breaker box. Mm. Turn on the backup generator. Damn, I forgot to refuel the generator the last time I cleaned it. There's some fuel out back in the boathouse. I should grab a flashlight in the garage before heading outside. Okay, well, two things. I have to find the garage, then I have to go out back to the boathouse. I think I left the key to the garage in the bathroom the last time I took a shower. Bathroom. Where is the bathroom? Okay. I didn't fully explore anything. Need the garage key to open this door. So, have to find the bathroom. Which, the bathroom isn't down in the basement. That would be annoying, right? Was there another door? No, it's just the one bedroom, unless there's one right here. There is one right here. Here we go, bathroom. Was there someone flashing and flickering in and out? Oh, a fuse must have blown. That light bulb is toast. Great. Garage key. Wonderful. Is this window open? No, thank God. Uh, what I was going to say is I am really enjoying this. It's, it's well done. Simple. But you can tell a lot of thought went into it. Not just the design, but... Kind of the pacing behind everything, you know? Alright, garage. Over this way. Uh, interact with door locks to use the keys. Here we go. Well, that's different. Kind of like that. Alright, there's a flashlight in here somewhere. Flashlight? There we I go. I should head to the boathouse out back. There should be some fuel I can use for the generator there. Do I have a battery? I mean, I'm looking at these windows. I'm waiting on someone to pop up. Uh, is this out back? Okay. Well. Boathouse. I'm gonna assume is down this way. Yeah, I think I see it over there. So far, so good. Boathouse. All right. Fuel? I need my jerry can to transfer the fuel. I think I left it on the dock. Oh, wonder. Okay. Well, yes, you did. It's empty. I need to refill it. 
fuel pump inside the boathouse. Oh, I'm getting a bad feeling about all this. Now I can refuel the backup generator. I should head back to the basement. Mm hmm. <laughs> Just let it happen. You're setting up the environment for it. I'm ready. I'm ready for that scare. Get back in the house as fast as possible. Gonna close that bad boy. Let's, well, close it all the way. There we go. And now down to the basement. Circuit breaker, and that should restore the power. Didn't a fuse blow? How are you gonna do that? The power should be working. Oh. I should head upstairs and call in the busted transformer. Call in... Oh. To the phone. Okay. Gotcha. Nope. Still no one there. Yeah, so far so good. Yeah. Oh, I can turn on the lights now. That's right. Oh, power is limited. Gotcha. So the phone was next to my bed, I think. What? There's no signal. The one is dead. The storm knocked out the phone lines as well. Eh, I don't really believe that, but we'll see here. Oh. The doorbell again? What the hell is going on here? Is someone playing a trick on me? Well, let's find out. Anyone here? That creep outside. Oh. Hi. Can I look through this? Hello? Oh, God. There? Hello, young lady. My vehicle broke down on the road a ways back. May I perhaps come inside to use your phone? <laughs> huh. I'm, I'm curious. What would you do? if this guy pops up. I mean, he does, he is talking politely, I will say that, but why doesn't he look up? What are you doing all the way out here? Are you the one who put the floppy disk through my mail slot? Floppy disk? I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Good voice acting. You didn't answer my first question. What are you doing all the way out here? Well, you see, I have family up north. It seems yours is the only house I could find off the road. Mm. Well, I'm sorry, but the phone lines seem to be down in my area because of the storm. Oh, really? The phone lines are dead, you say? Well, perhaps I can come in to dry off and get out of this storm. I'm not in the business of letting strangers into my home. I'm sorry, but you can't come in. Very well, Stacy. I'll find uh -oh. my own way in. <laughs> no, I'm all right. I'm okay. I'm fine. Where are you going, man? Oh, really? You're just gonna stand right there. Hi. What the hell is going on? How did that creep know my name? That is a good question. What is that? Do I have a phone phone in here? What? Is that upstairs, the phone? I'm kind of confused. Let's go upstairs. Hello? Is anyone there? I need help. Hello, Stacy. Sick huh. fuck, why are you doing this? I want you to finish my game, Stacy. 
I'll make you a deal. If you finish the game, I might just leave you alone. I'm not playing your stupid game, you bastard. I'm warning you, leave me alone. I, I have a gun. Do you have a gun? I know you're lying, Stacy. Now finish the game, or I'll come in there and skin you alive. He kind of has a Joker vibe to him, you know? Uh, continue playing the game in the computer. Okay, well, uh, let's, let's turn on some lights, maybe? No? Eh, power is limited. Okay. You kind of need to turn on the lights. <laughs> All right. But you can use a computer. Okay. A uh, large stairway is illuminated in front of you. You try to make out what's at the top, but it's too dark. Go forward. Using the lighter, you reach the top of the stairway. The light is dim, but you can make out that the path continues to the right. Is there anything here? Go right. You enter a spacious room with a large round wooden table. At its center on the table sits a small lockbox. Chains surrounded the box and feed into a skull. Its locking mechanism is located in the mouth of the skull. The room splits into two paths, one blo blocked by a large iron cage, the other open. So... I had to find a key. So let's go... Go right. You approach the path on the right. In front of you is another set of double doors. This one has one door half open. The room ahead is hidden from your sight. Darkness. Can I use my lighter? Yeah. You illuminate the hallway, stretches in... Okay, I don't know what that was. Um, oh god, it's it's from in the game. Maybe the game is playing audio, I like to believe? I don't know. Uh, the air is stale, clay urns are scattered all over the floor, you knock one over, and ash is kicked up into the air. You breathe it in, causing you to cough. So... I'm gonna search. Did that clay pot have anything? No, it didn't. Go forward. Continuing, continuing down the dark hallway, you stumble across a monstrous sight. The corpse of a man hangs from the wall, shackled to some kind of torture device. The machine has rotating gears that have ground the lower half of his body into pulp. The sight of it makes your blood run cold. Something protrudes from the man's abdomen, but is lodged too deeply to make it out. The hallway continues straight. I'm gonna search. Uh, can I search? Yeah, I did. Ah. Uh, Though I reach up to him into his chest cavity. As you do. Is that the radio? Oh, God. Nah, 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 nah. I'm... Oh, what the? Did I just see something out there? Oh, okay. Okay, well, here we go. Um... Uh, bits of flesh and organs. Uh, suppress an urge to vomit. You finally grasp the object and pull on it. Strange key uh, made of bone. Uh, skull key was added. So, go back, right? I just heard a door close. Um, 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 um. <laughs> um, the way back is impassable. Oh, because the door's closed. Okay. Continuing down the dark hallway, you stumble across a monstrous sight. There's that guy. So go forward. Maybe I have to go forward to go back. End of a hallway and find a large window. Iron bars cover the window, allowing no escape. You peer out, hoping to find some signs of life. You see nothing except for the moon. A gibbet cage is off to your left behind it. The path continues. Search. Nothing was found. So go left. An enormous brazier sits between two pillars. Two metal rings rise from the top, with wax candles attached to all around. A gust blows past you, but its source isn't apparent. Search. I thought I saw my vision like going in and out. 
Uh, you can see that it has a crawl space concealed behind the brazier. You drag the brazier while standing under its weight till it's out of the way. The crawl area appears to be narc narrow and dark, but spacious enough for you to fit in. Crawl in. You go into the confined passage. Cramped walls give you a claustrophobic feeling. You can see the exit. Well, go forward. That was glass breaking. Did he get in? It sounded like it came from downstairs. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, not the front door. What about over here? Anything? No. Oh. No, I'm alright. This maniac is toying with me. I have to board up this window. There's a hammer and some wood planks in the garage. Not gonna say anything. Oh, hi. Alright, well, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get these planks and nails and hammer. Okay, well, I that's an all. I, I don't see planks, planks, planks. Yes, yes. Take. I'm going to put that in my pocket. <laughs> okay. Uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and board this bad boy up. Wow, you're quick. Board up all these windows if I had enough planks. I can only hope that he won't break in if I keep playing his game. Hey, it's a solid plan. He's definitely fucking with you. Uh, you exit the crawl space and enter a chamber. A small table is on your right. On it are tiny candles and what looks like human bones. To your left is a small flight of stairs leading up to a gated room. The entryway is wide open. Perch. Search a room and approach the table. You spot some rope and miss the clutter. It might be handy, so you decide to take it. Go left. Go. The word go. Left. A flat wooden bed is located inside the gated room. Iron cuffs from the wall. The foul smell of raw sewage is coming off a hole in the ground to the left. Um, I'll search it. Nothing is found. Okay, well. Use item? Do I have an item I can use? Sorry, I'm not looking at my keyboard. I probably should be doing that. Uh, no? Was that not a command? Did I totally pop that up? Secure the rope to the wooden bed with a knot. If you want to, you can descend. Yeah, I'm going to climb down. I don't care about the smell. So I'm at the drain's base. When you jump to the ground, you splash up into a layer of viscous sewage. Reach, you suddenly retch and start to heave and ultimately throw up. Collect your composure and glance around. Nothing but a path in front of you. Go forward. Uh, I reach a corner, the path continues to the left. Oh, yeah. So there's a circular room leading up. You spot a body floating in the sewage that's covered in black robes. Drifts up and down, its face only partially visible. It appears fixated on you with its bright yellow eye. Yeah, I'm going to search him. Okay. You push to roll it over, and as you do, it has a blood-curdling shriek. It charges at you, slashing with claw-like fingernails. You evade the initial strikes, but then you feel the burn of flesh being sliced open. It scurries back, and then vanishes up the stairs. I'm going to go after that bitch. Vengeance! You begin to ascend the stairs. As you move, blood begins to ooze. Flashlight isn't working. What the fuck? What was? Oh, was that my cabinet? The bastard tore straight through the wall and dressed while I was downstairs. Whatever it is, it's not human. Okay, well I'm gonna finish the game just like you want. Um, ascend the stairs. Blood begins to ooze from the wound. Torch lights the stairway, but the top is pitch black. Can I take the torch? search nothing was found okay go up 
But the path ahead is obscured by darkness. I still have lighter, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, wall of bones, you seem to be in a catacomb. You can see the trail continues to your left behind some cobwebs. Um, I'm still going to search. Yeah, I'm noticing my vision like it's blurry every now and again. Around the corner into a vast room, four pillars enclose an enormous well, which can be reached by a short flight of stairs. The water in the well has a repulsive odor. The roof has a hole through which moonlight shines. The air passage is off to the left. Uh, examine the water, and there is a glowing object with yellow and red hues. It seems to be begging for you to remove it from the water. You begin to experience an unnatural... Oh, all I can do is grab the item. I have no other choice. Wow, it's getting kind of blurry. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm going to finish the game. Um, the rogue creature emerges from the depths, its face twisted into a hideous grimace. It begins to raise its arms to the orb in hand, almost as if it was making an offering. Fixated on the orb, you're unable to stop yourself from snatching it. Uh, it slowly sinks back into the abyss, and I have a strange orb now. So, skull and bones placed in a macabre pattern uh, litter the small passage. At the very end, Brazier sits flame lit like a beacon. Go forward. Search. Because there's a golden statue with a hand risen. Its fingers are positioned as if it were holding something, yet it is empty. Nothing's found. Use item. Yep. I place this. Oh, hi. Hi. Hello. I'm dead? Would I have had to have turned around because he's in the house? So now I have to play this game and <laughs> keep an eye out for him, hence the look over the shoulder thing. Um, so what I'm going to actually do is leave this demo here. And I'm doing it because I do kind of want to play the full game. It's just a demo. And I have a feeling the demo is going to be a part of the full game. Uh, and the game will be set up kind of like that, which I am really enjoying it, but hopefully you enjoyed it too. I definitely did. And as always, I will see you next time.